on to question 13. We have 160 minus 6 squared divided by 4 times 8. And watch out, that's a kind of like number 14. So you got to think, these are not the exact same thing, so they're going to be different depending on the operations. But once again, we just have to follow the order of operations carefully, step by step. So the first thing we do is we go through and do everything inside the parentheses. Then we do all the exponents. Then we do all the multiplication or division from left to right. And then we do all the addition or subtraction from left to right. Okay. So the first thing is parentheses, then exponents, then multiply or divide from left to right, then add and subtract from left to right. Okay. So if I look at this one, I've got a parenthesis. I've got 160 minus 6 squared inside a parenthesis. Let me calculate that first. Okay. So I've got to totally get that on its own. So, you know, I'm just going to calculate that to one side. 120 minus 6 squared. Okay. So I know I have to do the inside of the parenthesis first. So within here, we have an exponent, we have a subtract. Which comes first? Exponent or subtract? The exponent, right? And the exponent is on the 6. So that's 6 squared, right? And, and, and think about it. This is not, like, there's, there's two different things. There's a negative 6 inside a parenthesis squared, or, just, or there's just a subtract 6 squared, okay? Now, in this case, that's negative 6 times negative 6, which is positive 36. But in this case, it's just subtract a 6 squared. It's just subtract 36. Because the, the exponent does not include the negative sign. So in this case, it's just touching the 6, so that's just subtract 6, or sub, uh, subtract 36. And that's the case we have here. The squared is on the 6, so that just becomes 36. And then we go 120, subtract that, okay? And what does that give us? You can do it to one side, 120 minus 36, right? So that should give you 84, right? So this whole thing in the parentheses becomes 84. So we have 84 divided by 4 and then times 8. Now we have a division and a multiplication from left to right. So, you know, once again, if you were to follow PEMDAS to the letter, you would mistakenly think that you've got to multiply and then divide. That's not true. Multiplication and division are the same type of operation. And I'll, I'll show you why. I mean, they're the same thing. I'll show you why. Because, you know, what's 10 divided by 2, right? That's 5. But that's the same thing as doing this. 10 times C2 is 2 over 1. That's like 10 times a half. What's 10 times a half? That's also 5. So, so you know, multiply and divide, they're basically two different ways of writing the exact same operation. And um, that's why you do... There, it's the same thing. So you just go from left to right and do all the divisions or multiplications. So 84 divided by 4 is what we do next. And what's 84 divided by 4? Well, 4 into 8 goes how many times? 2 times. And 4 into 1? 4 into 1 goes once. So we have that becomes 21 and now we just have to go times 8. Right? So 21 times 8, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 16, so 168, right?